Okay, and in this step, this will be actually the final step, we're going to go into Sapien and we're going to um, repopulate the level, uh, move things around, and then we're going to add some fake lighting in there. Uh, since we didn't add any lights to the basement, it's going to be rather dark in there. Uh, in this case, we don't need to go into Gorilla because we've already created the uh, tags and we've already edited the tags in the previous tutorial. So if by chance you didn't go through the previous tutorial, you are going to have to go into Gorilla and you are going to uh, have to edit the skybox, uh, but we won't be discussing that here. So we're just going to go straight into Sapien, and we're going to want to open up our splinter.scenario and give it a second to load here. Okay, you'll notice that uh, we have our level here, however, the um, there is no ground. We have everything that's supposed to be on the ground, but there's no ground itself. So we're actually going to have to run Radiosity again to get that ground to appear. And again, we do that by highlighting the game window, hitting Control tilde, and typing in Radiosity underscore quality of zero. Then we want to run that Radiosity, so we hit arrow up and go Radiosity start and it'll take just a little while here to go through and actually calculate the radiosity for the level so we will go ahead and speed that up for you okay and once that's completed we're going to want to save this radiosity so we'll hit control tilde again, uh, pull up radiosity and type radiosity underscore save. Now our radiosity has been saved. Uh, we can look around the level. And if you'll notice we do have our uh, tunnel entrances here. It doesn't look like anything's really uh, conflicting with the tunnel entrances, we don't have any scenery sitting on top of them or anything. So it looks like in this case we're doing pretty good. I might just juggle some of these around here. And we do that by just going through, going into objects and scenery, and we can select the different scenery and just move it around to wherever we want. Okay, and that's that. Uh, now we're going to want to actually add some lighting down in uh, inside of our tunnel. Um, in future tutorials, I'll we'll show you how to uh, create lights, and then they'll give off their own lighting. In this case, we're actually going to just be editing the light map for the level. So up at the top toolbar here, we are going to go over to the uh, tool. It's uh, directly to the right of the pencil. Uh, it looks like the airbrush there, and we're going to select that. And then in tool window, we want to change the color from black, and we're going to go all the way up to white, and click OK, and make sure that the color uh, does stick there. And now it's as easy as just flying around a little bit, and going in and painting some lights. Onto your, uh, into your tunnel here. Okay, and uh, the nice thing about the light map is you can actually lighten up things that radiosity has already uh, darkened down. Like in this case, we have a shadow from our tree here. I really don't want that to be there, so I'm going to go ahead and just lighten that shadow up. I just didn't like how it looked. I thought it was a little bit too dark. Um, something that needs to be said about this tool is it's a very good tool if you just want to touch up. Um, in this case, we did actually go through the whole tunnel and we brightened up the whole tunnel. 
but if you're actually going to be creating a level you do want to go in and uh, you want to create some radiosity lights and that will be covered in a new tutorial um, down the road here on actually making those radiosity lights but for the purposes of this tutorial it was just meant to uh, serve as showing how to create the tunnel itself so we are not going to worry about that we'll just go ahead and lighten that up and we will call the lighting finished at this point uh, now we're going to want to put lay down some uh, new scenery to the level just to uh, kind of decorate up our tunnels here so we're going to select scenery in the hierarchy view go to edit types and make sure that we have the blue landing beacon and the red landing beacon on there and it looks like we do so we're going to go ahead and make sure we're doing this on the right side this is the blue side here so we're going to lay down a new scenery right at the top we're going to right click there and we'll lay a scenery down there and go down to blue landing beacon and now we have the landing beacon uh, laid down on top of that now we want to lay down a red landing beacon here so we'll lay that down and change it to a red landing beacon so now we've distinguished uh, both sides here so we have that taken care of now we're going to want to go down into the bunker and we're going to want to lay down some uh, scenery in here as well now you wouldn't lay down trees here because obviously it's a, a metal bunker so we're going to lay down some uh, human made objects we're just going to go into add and then add a couple of barricades um, Okay, and once you're satisfied with the placement of those, go ahead and take one final look down at your level and just make sure everything was uh, created here the way you intended. In this case, it looks like I put the red beacons on the blue side, so we'll just change that by selecting the beacon itself and changing it to a blue landing beacon. we'll change these to red. Okay, now that we've completed that, that looks like we're going to uh, call this done. We will go ahead and go save this scenario, get out of it, go back into tool here and run tool build cache file on levels slash splinter slash splinter and it'll go through here and build the uh, map file for us and that's it for creating a tunnel beneath the surface of the level uh, again my name is Kirk and uh, I'd like to thank uh, halomods.com for hosting this tutorial and look forward to giving you some more tutorials in the future. We're going to be in the future uh, showing you how to create ladders and teleport. And uh, we'll also be looking at creating uh, vehicles and weapons and actually importing them into Halo CE. So look forward to seeing you then. And until then, have a good time modeling.